Hey, Cam, congratulations on an incredible win. I'm not going to ask you the question you're expecting because my good friend Fatty Voughton asked you earlier. Take a look. I'm not going to ask you about retiring, right? So don't worry about right it. Right Here we go, Fatty. Here we go, Cam. Three, two. Cam, when are you retiring after this game? <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, all right. Ready? <laughs> what a stitch up, Cam. That's classic, classic fatty board, that one. <laughs> uh, Cam, it looked like, uh, as you went off with about five minutes to go, that it didn't look like you were doing a farewell lap, but it kind of almost <laughs> did as well. What was going through your mind as you were walking, you know, the crowd were cheering, you were waving them? Yeah, I, I was sort of... I was getting sort of like a half a standing ovation, but... Uh, <laughs> I don't know why. I, I, you know, it was it was very uh, nice, and I'm very grateful for all the uh, all the fans out here tonight to um, to do that. But um, yeah, for me, it wasn't a, it wasn't so much a farewell. It was more of a uh, a, uh, a relief to, to be able to go back to another grand final. But you know, I'm just really pleased with the way we played tonight. We come up against a team that in a really good form. I know they've had to travel up here, but um, you know, they they did a, a great job getting to this prelim final. And they're a tough side. They're a really gritty side, and to be able to play the way we did tonight, particularly with the way we started in the first 20 minutes, I was really pleased. So I think uh, the message that came out to me was um, just get off the field because I had some carryover points from that little tip tackle from a couple of weeks ago. So that's why I come off. Now, when you go into a game, Cam, the kicking game, the halves did a great job tonight. It was very much weighted towards Jerome and Cam Munster. Do you uh, go out there with an idea of what you see or do you go out there with an idea of... Uh, what you've watched from videos before and who will do the majority of the kicking? Yeah, it's probably more of our, uh, our prep during the week, Freddie, where you know, we have a kicking plan coming into the game and you know, where we want to finish our sets and where we want to put the ball to start our defensive sets. But um, you know, sort of me being at nine, if I, if I see an opportunity to kick early or there's a lot of space to, to put the ball deep down in the opposition end, you know, I'm going to take that. But in saying that, you know, the team are well aware of that as well. That's Hmm. That's always going to be an option for us to be able to try and you know, get some good field position and turn their big men around. So, you know, if we get that opportunity, I take it. But we, we very much come into the game with a plan. And I thought, I thought both those boys that you mentioned tonight, Cameron Munster and Jerome Hughes, did a fantastic job. In particular, I thought, you know, Jerome Hughes' kicking game has improved out of sight this year. He's taken on more responsibility, not just kicking, but, you know, the, the whole uh, ball playing role. Cameron, to me, the biggest player of the night, it wasn't about any of the tries that were scored. It was actually a play you come up with defensively where you, you come from marker and you come up with a try-saving tackle on Nick Cottry. You're 35, you've played over 400 first-grade games. The scoreline is heavily in your favour at this time. Where does the desire come from to make that kind of play? Oh, Stella, I think it's just, it's just about competing and, you know, this time of year, you've got to compete on every play and if you don't put yourself in the picture, you just don't know what's going to happen. And, um, you know, I thought, you know... That wasn't just that was just one of many plays I thought that our team come up with tonight. And if you don't do it in these big moments, you know the other side are gonna have jerseys in the picture and you know, results can go against you. So um, you know it's about it doesn't matter what the score line is, it doesn't matter what, what time or what part of the game it is, you know, you've got to compete on every play and the harder you work, you know, sometimes luck goes your way and I got a little bit lucky there tonight with uh, with Nick down on down on the line. He's a he's a strong bugger and I don't know how I managed to stop him, but I did. So, yeah, really thankful about that. OK, Cam, well, we thank you very much for your time. Best of luck Enjoy next the week. week. Good luck. Thanks, guys. Appreciate Cam. that.